So after Ibn al-Qayyim speaks about uh, love, true love, and true uh, debasement or complete debasement for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, after understanding, um, knowing the blessings of Allah upon you, which brings love, and knowing your deficiencies, which will bring debasement or lowering yourself in front of him, he goes on to talk about another particular issue, and he says after Rahimullah ta'ala, Faslun. وَإِنَّمَا يَسْتَقِيمُ لَهُ هَذَا بِاسْتِقَامَةِ قَلْبِهِ وَجَوَارِهِ He says, and verily this becomes upright, meaning that was previously mentioned, of this love and, and debasement and all this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, بِاسْتِقَامَةِ قَلْبِهِ With a, a, an upright heart, a heart that is firm and, and pure and upright to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَجَوَارِهِ And also his limbs. فَاسْتِقَامَةُ الْقَلْبِ بِشَيْئَيْنِ He says, so the, 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 the uprightness of the heart is with two particular things. أَحَدِهِمَا أَن تَكُونَ مَحَبَةُ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى تَتَقَدَّمُ عِنْدَهُ عَلَى جَمِيعِ الْمَحَابِ That the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is preferred over all of it, all other beloved things. فَإِذَا تَعَارَضَ حُبُّ اللَّهِ وَحُبُّ غَيْرِهِ سَبَقَ حُبُّ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى حُبَّ مَا سِوَى So if the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes in contradiction or in contrast with something, some other type of love, the love of Allah is preferred. فَرَتَّبَ عَلَى ذَلِكَ مُقْتَلَى uh, so from that, uh, what results in that is the are the actions. And this kind of coincides with the verse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the chapter of Al Imran, verse number 31, where he told the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to say, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِي يُحْبِبُكُمُ اللَّهُ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ غَفُورٌ رَّحِيمٌ He told the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to say, say, if you truly love Allah, then follow me. Allah will love you and forgive you for Allah's forgiving of all sins. And this is important because the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, differ with certain things that we may love. And that takes conditioning. And that conditioning is what was mentioned earlier. You notice how Ibn Qayyim has the tasalsul fikri, like the, it's a chain of thought. But the way he does it is so organic, subhanAllah. He mentions one thing, and this thing doesn't happen except with this thing. And this doesn't thing doesn't happen except with this thing. And there are two particular things. So... That chain of thought is what gives you ta'seel ilmi, what gives you firm foundational knowledge, and particularly of this, of the heart and its connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So now he's talking about that the, the, the you know, you being humble, the humility, which he mentioned earlier, the humility or recognizing your deficiencies makes you humble. And recognizing the blessings of Allah increases your love of Him. But that will not happen except with a firm heart. And the firm heart and limbs is, in the firm heart in particular, is loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is preferred over every other love. So when that you have that hubbun kamil, that will not happen except with loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more than anything else and shown by your actions. And then he says, وَمَا أَسْهَلَ هَذَا بِالدَّعْوَىٰ وَمَا أَصْعَبُهُ بِالْفِعْلِ He says, how easy it is to say, but difficult to do. Starting with myself. I can sit here and say this, but how difficult is it to do? When you're faced with something you love, and it contradicts with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. That is the true test. And that's why some of the, the salaf would say that this is the ayah of imtihan. The verse Imran 31, which is a standard in this, or which is a milestone in this particular issue. What do you love more? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the deen of Islam, or what you have known to be good, or what your, your heart inclines towards. And he says, فَعِنْدَ imtihan يُكْرَمُ الْمَرْءُ أَوْ yuhan. He said, for verily, at the time of the test is where the individual is, 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 is given nobility, or is despised, or put in a lowly fashion. And ultimately, that is up to you. That is the difference between us as human beings and all other forms of creation. Allah has given us the faculty of choice. And based on those choices, that is where we will be given a noble position, a noble lofty rank in front of Allah, not in front of mankind. A noble and lofty rank in front of Allah or something that lowers us in front of Him in a displeasing fashion. And this is important, firstly, so when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about istiqamat al-qalb, the uprightness of the heart, it firstly is, or the first of the two, 
is loving Allah more than anything else, which will show in our actions. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those that love him more than anything else and allow that to shine and show in our actions. In the holy Yudalika. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.